<clears throat> so, continue. Let me save this one. That was me showing a friend the game. <laughs> so I just made a random thing just to show him a little bit of the game. <laughs> I didn't expect it to save it. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, let me... Let me get the link and post it to Discord, and we'll get rolling. Okay. Okay, there we go. <sighs> so I have read further into the manual, and um, I'm starting to get a feel for the sheer complexity of this game. Oh my gosh. Hey there, John. I feel like I could get a degree in this game before I have mastered it. It's... Gosh, I don't know if I can find where it was. One of the sections I read that particularly was astonishing was melee combat section. It's... a lot. Okay, I found it. Oh boy, guys. I just want to take one moment to just show you... It's... It's a lot of pages. But let me just show you... Just... Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, get ready. It's gonna be white because the PDF is not night-moded. I don't know if I can night-mode a PDF, to be honest. Anyway. Determine target. Early strike back. Repel. What is repel? I get gaze attacks, but what is repel? Well, repel, glad you asked, is when you have a weapon that is longer than your enemy's weapon, you make a... Uh, you do this to see whether or not they can even attack you. Because your weapon is so longer than theirs. So spears, spearmen, can do this to check and see if the enemy can't even get close enough to hit them. <laughs> so that's a stage in combat. Then there's strike back effects. Um, then there's actual attack and defense rolls, which is... You know, whether or not you hit. Finally, we roll damage, and protection is actually armor. So damage finally comes into play. Oh, it's not, not done yet. No, 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 no. Because now we have defensive abilities, such as mirror image luck and uh, whatever moss body is. Then we have limb cap. Oh my gosh, if the attack hit an arm or a leg, so you can hit the head, the arms, the legs, the torso. You could hit the mount. The mount's head, the mount's... It goes on and on and on. Um, finally, damage redistribution, in case you have any of this. Then finally, we deal damage. Did you did you follow all that? You, you, you remember how I said you can target different limbs? If you're small and you're fighting a giant with a mace, you can only attack the legs. If you have a weapon that has length, it uses the length and the difference between your sizes to determine where you can and can't hit. And this didn't even bring up damage types and all the rules with them. Uh, which ones? Shields get damaged and shields break. And the fighting underwater and uh, harassed. Every enemy that's adjacent to you reduces your defense and fatigue. And we're in the attack melee section still, by the way. Like, it just keeps going. And keeps going. And keeps going. All of this is still how melee combat works. Oh, oh, finally, you hit missile combat. And then you can get into all the damage types and what they do and what their effects are and whether or not it's hot or cold outside and whether or not it's raining will affect... <sighs> anyway, um, so I've read further into the game 
and I have a deeper appreciation for the complexity under the hood. Note I said appreciation for complexity and not comprehension of. <laughs> I'm not going to think about all of that when I decide whether to hire a spearman or not, because, holy shit, I am going to be an absolute amateur at combat in this game, because, wow. Some of my favorite games are simulationist in nature. I feel like I should do a video on it. This is... A s this is very, very, very intensely down the simulationist side of how to build a game. Oh shit, another throne is full I, I have to get back into the actual game we were playing now with the undead and try to remember what I was doing. I know I just deployed my wizards. Uh, and we're about to, they're going to do one job, and then they're going to mass together with my army, and we're going to try to push and push all these opponents back and conquer the world. So, you know, that much I remember. Oh, hey, Wings, you did manage to pop in. Ah, you've only got ten minutes, yeah. The reach weapon ro mo bonus, yes! I wish that someone would make another game like the Temple of Elemental Evil. My gosh. If only. It sounds a lot more complicated than it is. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> There's a lot going on. The mounts. What? I found out what happens when your mount is struck dead. The rider walks. But okay, so first of all, if you're wearing magic shoes, those don't matter while you're have got a have a horse under your butt. But if the horse dies, the magic shoes do matter now. But after the battle, the the guy walks back to his home province. It takes him turns to go through all the provinces, and there are morale checks to see if he just deserts. Then, if he makes it back to his home province, you can rehire him for half price with a new mount. Smart mounts will do the same thing, dumb mounts won't. Why are we simulating this level? Because, because the, that's how the developers think. They want everything to be realistic and accurate. Uh, let me see if we can figure out what's going on here. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. My Draco Lich army went in and kicked something's butt with no losses. Okay, yeah, that's fair enough. All right. Uh, somebody came in and kicked the crud out of me. Somewhere. And I beat up somebody else somewhere else. Okay. All right, I'm going to take a minute to figure this map out. What? Master of Magic? Does it? Hold on a second. That's not right. Oh, I am sorry. I didn't update that. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, here, let me just make a quick edit. Dominion 6... Sorry about that. I was careless when I was putting my schedule up. It is corrected. <laughs> yeah, just ask Dwarf Fortress. Simulations. Everyone loves them. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, hey there, Enterprise. Pumping gravity weights. Oh my gosh, the original Goku. Alright. Let's look around. Okay, this is one of my armies. This one is working its way up the side. Perhaps I'll try to take a fortress. This is... The reanimation station... They are creating... Oh! Oh, yeah! That's another thing. The types of undead, there's 
bo whether or not I have bodies to make the undead with. This will turn humans into undead. This requires there to be bodies lying around. But long dead, yeah, you can just dig those up. I'm, um... I'm supposed to be... Oh, here it is. Corpse is zero, yeah. So, I wouldn't be able to make certain types of undead because... Because I guess nobody in this province ever dies. I don't know. Maybe they cremate themselves preemptively. Anyway. Alright, so that's still doing its thing. The underground is probably still hating me. Alright, this is my main army. I was chasing an enemy, and I do not... Oh, shit. The Oceans of Despair have, uh, what is this? Amber Clan? Okay, I think that's neutral. Okay, never mind. So, I don't know where they went, but there was an army that tore through here and went that way. I'm probably gonna ignore it. Maybe I should take Inuptia and build a fort there. Hmm. Alright, meanwhile, over here, they haven't taken this territory yet. I've got one guy, and I put the defense up to 40. What was he doing? I don't recall. However, this place is not in my dominion yet, despite having a temple here. So we're going to see if we can push that. Look at this place. Productive? What? <laughs> That's not how our empire works. Okay, so they're recruiting a priest every turn, and they're recruiting crossbowmen every turn. And this is to help. Okay, what was this army doing? What was this army doing? Was it trying to join up with the main force? Or... Hmm. I think it's constructing a temple. Yeah. That's what I think it's doing. I'd like to build more forts. <sighs> Alright. Uh, because I don't know where the enemy is, I'll keep this army together and go here. We'll walk up this way, and then we're going to take these forts out. Now, this... Okay. I don't know if you're strong enough. I don't know if you're strong enough to take this, but you outnumber them. I don't know how good their Huskarls are. And I'm going to take one of you. How about Rend? Rend is a pretty tough guy, right? Also, assassins are a thing, which I apparently have to worry about. Now there's a ton of assassins rules. Alright, I'm going to give Rend a big pile of troops. And I'm going to send him and just him over this way. We're going to try to just retake this. The rest of these guys can wait. So this will loop up. They'll join. We'll try to take all of this. And we'll get this thrown. I hope. Alright. The next thing I'm going to do with my army... You two. Please scoop up this army. Okay. There you go. With this troop. Oh, the Wailing Lady! That's right! I've actually been wondering about her. She's... She's able to do, um... 
like, I think it was 999 damage. Yeah, her attack is 999. So I'm, like, wondering if she could assassinate, uh, anything. Like, just kill anything in play if she came up to it. I'm wondering if I should make more of her. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do with you two. One is... One of you is gonna go this way, and one of you is gonna go that way. We're gonna scoop up men and march north with them. Alright, finally we have all of these wizards. These wizards... Hopefully they'll find, um... Any magic sites, and I can decide whether or not I want any laboratories anywhere. They'll have, they're eventually going to join up with my main army and fight. I'm going to send you... I guess I'm going to send you here. But yeah, they're going to scour my lands real quick for anything they can find. And I think that's a full move. Hmm. Boy, you guys are producing a lot. Hey there, Rotheart. I'm gonna give you a hundred. I just want to make sure that this falls. Okay. And finally, that leaves this army here. Part of me wants to strike this castle. Wouldn't mind picking up this gateway. Um, but more duck. No, no, just you. I would like you to construct a palisade here. Okay, and lastly, you know, I know I said you to preach, but what if I asked you to build a fortress instead? Yeah. Money? I don't need that. I need fortress. This place in particular, I need to build up more, I think. Don't forget to press N. Uh, remind me what N does. What does N does? Oh my gosh, chat got in a way. Oh no, how far back am I? Okay, here we are. It cycles idle commanders. Ah, okay. Okay, well, we're gonna, we just got a huge report, and let's see what they managed to find. Yeah, I hope that I have enough research done to get everything I need, because we basically stopped researching now. Hmm. I have never watched a Star Trek Discovery myself. Um, the last one I watched, I never quite finished Voyager. Yeah, the undead doesn't really require gold. Uh, if I were to start this map over, I would play so much, so differently at this point. But, you know, whatever. This is another learning game. Alright, we found a Garden of Bones. House of Embers. My gosh. I guess we should have done this a long time ago. We found... Graveyard of the Damned sounds like our kind of thing. Or a more skilled mage is required. Well, that's... This is what we got. Glamour gems. Let me guess. Underground? That's underground. I swear, this has been going every turn. Did somebody... So now I know the enemy may have sent spies to dick with me. And I'm suspecting that there are spies here. Preaching against me or something. 
the bountiful farms of the Endless Plain are no longer. Well, that's kind of what we do. All right. Uh, finally, we have three fights to consider. So this was... Okay, I see. This is the left side of the battle. Yes, okay, I know where this is. Cool, cool. We lost a lot of our long deads. That is mildly concerning. I'll need to see by reinforcing that. No, not my cavalry. I don't know what happens to undead. Since I'm not able to recruit them, I don't know what happens to them when their mounts fall. I am uncertain. All right. Ooh. We failed. Ashdod defeated me. I see. They attacked Druid land and we defeated them again. I see. Yeah. We've attacked that place a few times. All right. All right. We were defeated. This army is done. Wow. It's the giants again. My undead seem to really struggle against giants. So that kind of walls us on this side of the wall. Thing. Oh man, I got nothing left. Well, guys, um, that that's pretty awful. Uh, go collect some some minions for me. Uh, yeah. Could you guys uh? Okay, I guess. This one is going to go this way. Uh, as for this province... I don't have a lot of money. But I can do that. I don't know if that'll really help, but it's something. Alright, let's look at what we got. We have a great gold mine. A battlefield. House of Embers. Garden of Bones. Okay. Graveyard of the Damned. Man, that would have been good to find early. Uh, I need to patrol this place. There's definitely something going on there, and we need to put a stop to it. Ideally with a real army at some point. Smolder stone. Alright, so we're going to get some more gems now in some different flavors. We need to search deeper. So his army has just gone this way. I don't know where it went. But I can't chase it forever. We have other matters. It's just annoying. There's a giant army on the loose somewhere. <sighs> okay. Moving on. I would really like to build more sites. <sighs> Anyways, good we took that. This was attacked again, huh? keep trying to take this, and I'm going to keep building it up. Here we are. Why don't you make more? This is kind of going to be the uh, springboard for everything. Okay. Search your magic sites. Alright, we're going to now advance all of these. So you searched this spot? Okay, then. 
Oh, shit, where are you going? No, 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 don't go that way. Turns out that's not mine. I still need to conquer it. You can't... Oh, yeah, you're hiding. You can go through that, oddly. Huh. Heat also apparently lets you go through mountains. Apparently. Yeah, if you get the terrain hot, you can cross mountains. Whereas it, when it's cold, you can cross rivers. Okay, you go that way. All right. Oh shit, this guy's already full up. Oh well. Death mages can lead a lot of undead, it turns out. Okay, you need to scoop up as many of this as you can. Cool. Okay, alright. So then... Guess I'm gonna push you three over there. My next goal should probably be to take this. And this. I should definitely send someone here. Hmm. We'll sort that out in a minute. Let me just take care of a couple more things. Alright, what about this group? I think it's okay if they step over here. Just dragging all they can with them. And finally, my prophet is going to be united, rolled into the main army. I think that's everything. All right, and hmm. The undead are going to end up teaching me to be very sloppy about my uh, armies. Guess you can stay here. Sure. I need to take this out. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Moving on. This area. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to pick one of these guys. Like you, for example. Okay, grind. Who else do we have? Check. Alright. Grind and check. These two are going to go this way. We're going to go into the caves and try to conquer down there. Caves are a very good place to conquer, I think. Okay. What's this? Here? Oh, yeah, this guy's fine. Ignore him. Didn't I tell you to go somewhere? I guess that's the only place he can move. Worm Glove! A relative of Worm Tongue, perhaps? You know these guys with the spears? Don't show up other places? Hmm. Alright, whatever. 
Fair. That's fine. Uh, this is probably fine. Wait a minute, actually, no. I don't know what I'm going to do about the giants. I guess I cannot fight them with uh, warriors here. With just undead, it's not going to work. So... So, yeah. We're going to have to send something else other than just w w undead. Uh... I don't put notes on the list. Uh... I think I just removed it from the list. I'll double check. You don't watch Star Trek Discovery? Can I, I can I can hire the living. I've hired some crossbowmen and and some priests that are alive. Yeah, 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 Bez. I think that's what's going on. I think it's uh, I think they've sent some kind of uh, espionage in there. Terror and life drain. Hmm. Well, I don't have fifth level magic yet. Lictors. I can make lictors. I do need to make art ma magic equipment as well. I need to just build an anti-giant army and use that on the left side. Oh. I guess they lost their profits and had to make new ones? <laughs> One of old Stinky's units died marching. Well, okay. This was, yes, of course we slaughtered it. My gosh, my knights are being tore up. I should do something so they're not, not getting into fights. I see. These giants can just walk around and do whatever they want. Alright. Oh, well that's cool. That's over here. He just took this from me. <sighs> it's just ten guys, but... All right, hold that thought. All right, I've successfully conquered this region. Go join whatever, I don't care. Okay. All right, you guys have added that. We're marching here, where our army should be joining up. So this tile... Oh, we finally got it! My influence has spread to this tile, finally. Good. Excellent, in fact. Alright. Let's go through and search for magic sites. Oh, hey, we found a maze. Alright, we will continue to spread out. We are searching for magic items, and then all these mages are going to join the army as well. Did I already search this one? Yes. Okay. Search. Search. Ah, I wish there was a thing that denoted where places have been searched already. I'm tempted to just make more undead. More mages and stuff, but I'm going to save up my gems for now. You guys need to move forward. Leave this place searched. Okay. 
Head up there. Oh, I think that's everything that needs to move. All the all the important stuff anyway. You're loaded up. That's fine. Alright. These stupid giants. I don't actually have an army that can properly counter you at this time. However, exhaustion is a thing. I was going to send you a different direction, but... Push all of you this way. You can search. And finally, we have you. Okay, I don't think you need this. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try to just go through sheer volume. This guy can lead a lot. So it's my hope that by sheer volume, we will crush this. These ten giants, they get tired, they just get mush. That is the plan. Really? You can't, you can't get over there? Fine, whatever. All right. That's pretty much everything I can push that way, right? Oh, wait a minute. I have this one guy on a horse. In. Just collecting undead to join up. So you go this way. All right, and you're going that way. All right, there we go. Everything is kind of in motion now. Everything. These guys are fine. They're fine where they are. We're making so many undead here. It's amazing. Uh. Oh, some of you couldn't go down. Some of you can. Who who is it who can and who is it who cannot? Is it just that one guy? All right, you know what? I'm going to ignore that. We'll sort this out. And we'll go into the cave soon. <laughs> Impressive spies. Ah, probably some college kids. They get really good at playing as undead. Hmm. Hmm. All right. We found a starlit pond. Tar pits? What do you find in tar pits? Earth magic, maybe? Fossils? All right. Three more. Aw. All right. Oh, we burned a temple somewhere. They built a temple there in the brief time they took it from me. Enuptia. All right.
All right, we went in. We finally defeated the Giants. We lost 126 guys defeating nine Giants. Is that so? <laughs> oh, 10 to 1 losses, huh? Let's just see what how this went. So we're kind of just using mob tactics with the masses of undead. We're going to bring wizards and clerics into the battle soon, and it's going to change things up, I think. Oh my gosh, already lost your riders. Oh. You have zero length, but these guys have lengths of three. These guys are size... Three, six, fighting size six. They should be able to score head blows. Um, unless they're all knocked off their horses. So the plan is, these guys are going to get exhausted. That's the plan. They're just going to get too tired. <laughs> because I have so many undead. They're shooting out... Personal stone skin, blessings, magma bolts, all kinds of stuff back there. Who is this guy? Uh, he's squishy if we could get to him. He's a priest, death, earth, and fire mage. He has battle fright. Huh. Maybe he's easy to scare. So our, the primary win condition, the more that I look at this game, the more I conclude the primary win condition isn't killing the enemy, but scaring the enemy away. Making them rout. I think the game is about routing the enemy. Anyway, this guy's squishy, and the undead should be hopefully... Come on, guys. Keep going forward. Keep going. Don't stop. Get to this guy. Come on. There, they're not. I, I don't know what they think they're doing. Some of them move forward. Oh, he's running. He's running for his life. He got scared. And it looks like the giants finally died. Should I rewind and try to look at their fatigue? I want to see if it was fatigue. Anyway, we... we... We need a better strategy for fighting the undead, guys. Alright, well... Misfortune plus three. Well, oh, that's nice. Another place has become an inhospitable wasteland. Yeah, you're welcome. And we've constructed a fortress. Oh, he's back! He came back! Shit. No, we're going this way, not that way. Oh, you jerks. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to. Starlit Pond. Very nice. What else did we discover? The Tar Pits! So many of these things just produce one or two gems. All right, now we have to make decisions. All right, we have successfully claimed this. I'm going to take this over here. This used to be a forest. Even though we didn't conquer it, it changed into an icy wasteland on its own. Anyway, we're going to conquer that, and we're going to try to... Uh... Let's see... I think these guys will be enough. I'm going to send them underground and conquer the underworld with them. If they don't have enough, we'll send them more support. Okay. I don't want to fight the giants seriously with the armies I have over here. So I'm not gonna. An air gem? I guess. I'd like to build things, but I ran out of cash. So, uh... Let me see. I guess what I'm gonna do... Oh, you can't make it 
that far. You can go there. Okay, you can join that. You can go this way. Someone will need to go there. You know what? You two can join in on... No, you can't. Well. Darn. What about just you? No, it's because you have men with you. Alright, fine. Whatever. You guys can just march. You go that way. You're researching. That's fine. You found tar pits. That's lovely. Go this way. You found nothing. How unfortunate. Okay. We now have two commander points and can make two priests a turn here. We could also recruit even more crossbows. I need more money. Money is tight. I'm not going to recruit any more crossbowmen. I'm going to take the crossbowmen that I do have, and I'm going to add them to his army. That's right. Okay. There were commands. I need to sort out. This shouldn't be undisciplined, but I don't remember the command to sort out... Um, to sort out what needs to be sorted from this giant mass. There's a button for it, though. All right. You there! You are to cast... Okay, that's what you do. Ah, oh, there's a way to do, uh, to do this. There was a button to make it so that, uh, I could save their, uh, orders and pass it down. But I've only got a few priests, so it's not too onerous to just give them the orders by hand. I'm going to have to mix them into my army. But this will increase the, uh... Let's see if my army just a little bit. Okay. And then the priest does his part, which is a much bigger deal. All right, what I need now is I need the priests. Them forward. The priests just need to kind of be scattered about. Okay, he can be behind the lich. as much about these random warriors. I want the priests. Here's one. Just kind of commanders mixed in here and there at random. It's fine, though. We 
need to get some mages in here at some point. Right now, this isn't really much of an army. It's just a giant mass of undead. Having the priest with it will dramatically increase their power, though. I think. Having the prophet with them now. His army got worn to nothing, so just signing him up with this. Oh, I can move two tiles! Because it's just a plains. Okay, this is perfect. I need to crush that, and then we can come back up here. Alright. Great. Because it's going to be castle crunching time after this. Your name is Manhate? What kind of name is that? Oh, whatever. Uh, welcome to the army, I guess. Alright, I think everything is moving. Got stuff going underground. Alright. One enemy unit, but it's a giant. <laughs> so, we're not going to mess with him. Hmm, empowerment. Empowerment, I wonder. Oh, hey, you found dancing lights. Is that so? All right, what are you going to do here? Now, interestingly, I could make you more magical. I've been contemplating trying to build some super wizards. Perhaps. Perhaps some more fire and things. I don't have a lot of gems. I was contemplating forging magic items. I have a lot of guys running around. Total immunity to heat and flames. Once per month, it'll negate... Once per month! It'll negate an attack. Hmm. Okay. Skull Talisman. Huh. A guard at all times would help against assassins. Increased morale. Enchanted ring mail. An encumbrance means fatigue every turn. Huh. Sturdy and comfortable. We're not very good at making magic items, it would seem. Uh, I will make a helmet, I guess. One of the things I need to do is I need to put a lab over here as well. And I can equip uh, my guys with magic items from here. I think this fortress is going to be an important location. I pretty much just have two main fortresses right now. I'd like to set up a third. But I don't have one right now. I don't have a good spot for a third yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Only one of you was able to move that way. I said, everybody go this way, and you went, okay, but that was a lie. Only one person can get there. See, that could be very bad for me. Sheesh. All right. And it's not him, so... Shit. Also, I still don't know of a way to fix his being lame. I don't think I can. Well, I'm just gonna step here. Unless he runs away, I'm gonna step on him. But we gotta get up there and start fighting our way through stuff soon. Alright. Hmm. Ah, this army. What am I doing with this army? Good question. I guess I'm 
Oh, because I told them to go here, and not everybody's doing it. Of course. Fine, everyone go here. God, I hate that. When I have a whole group selected, and it tells me they're going somewhere, they need to actually go there as a group, and not just one guy or something. Oh well, whatever. Anyway, those three are fine. Those are fine. Okay, we're done here. Gems to boost a single unit to find stronger magic sites. I could try. I mean, at least they're not all un they're not all death sites. They're a variety. Well, that's true of modern battles, too. You know. If you take out 10% of an army, they usually won't want to keep fighting. Hmm. Yes, undead should be immune to fear. Cloud cap. We have taken the halls. Okay, that's the underground. Yep, it's still the same place. Oh, hey, we found an enemy. Oh, really? Heretics. The false prophet got away. This is the place where we're constantly having the uh, bad events. Here, this is the place where they're constantly giving us the bad events. Well... Anyway, I can't really afford to dedicate too much resources to that right now. Okay, right, so we have a bunch of things. First off... You just took this from me, did you? Alright. But this time... Ho, ho, ho! I'm gonna bring Tag with me. And I'm going to alter him. A little. Alright, Tag, you are the first wizard to join the army. I expect you to do great things for us. Let's begin by considering what you can do. Phoenix power. This would increase his fire magic by a step. Summon lesser fire elemental. But kind of more of an icy people, you know? And of death. Skeletal body. You should probably cast that, actually. That's a self buff that makes them resistant to uh, arrows. Sheet of fate. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Cast that, actually. Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. Alright, what else do you want to do? Should you throw fire? Hmm. I don't know, I'd worry you'd fry my own undead. Let's not do that. You could make undead. Second sight. Is that important? Are we expecting invisible things? Uh, let's go with raised skeletons. 
make a bunch of temporary skeletons and I'll leave them casting. And what I'll do with you... Is I'll put you up near the front. So your skeletons can be... No, you, you, you near the front. So your skeletons can be relevant. Alright. So, knuckle bone. Ah. Okay. You are going this way. Tag, please find me some magic sights. Did you search this place yet? Search. Okay. Next, we have this place to search. And we have this place to search. Have you searched here yet? Search. Okay. Okay, push them back. Alright, that's doing that. What else do we need to do here? Well, you guys, we're going to finally take this. Worm plague. I don't know about these names, guys. You guys really want to want names like this? Okay. But, uh... All right, good enough. Ah. Okay, I have some money. I would like to use that to... I cannot afford it. All right, well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We don't need it right now anyway, do we? No. What we do need, however, is to conquer this territory down here. Alright, we have successfully conquered the Crystal Cave. Ooh. I'm gonna need to send a priest down here. Bakemono. Hmm, I don't have a lot of use for that. Twenty enemies. Right, we'll take that one first. Okay, you're searching. Do I have a? Ah, you. Just you. Go this way. I'm going to send him underground to search for sites down there. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I could make Eric here. I could make him more powerful. But it'd be expensive. And I'm not sure how much better he'd really be at finding things. Because the only one I could do would be death right now. So... I think I'll just stick to having him search as is. Alright, as for you lot, I'm going to push this group this way. Yeah, they, can, they, might, they might go down and help support if necessary. It might be necessary. Once I crush this one stupid army in my territory, though, we're going to head north. We 
we're going to have one hell of an army to push north with from two different directions. Two different directions. We just need to chew off about one province, maybe two provinces up, and everything will be great! All of our problems will be solved! Except we'll have new problems, but the current problems will be solved, mostly. <laughs> Mad cow disease. <laughs> Oh, really? Huh. Uh, Conquest of Elysium. I've heard about Conquest Elysium for years, never tried it. And I read in the in manual, they talked a bit about it. But, uh... Ooh. Alright, anyway, let me see. Okay, this is bad. Delka? Delka. Oh shit, this is a place I was defending heavily. And they lost almost nothing taking it, too. 114 dead, we only killed 8. Alright, Delka. I'll have to inspe investigate that. They've taken the Endless Plain. I know where that one is, at least. Alright. So, this isn't the giant army I was attacking. They moved! They ran away! We found a lightning rod, did we? Neat. All right, we took out the barbarians with basically no losses. Hmm. Two more terrains have frozen. All right, we need to check out Delka. Let me go over here first. All right, you have successfully constructed this nice fort here. Huh, if I built a lab and a temple, I could start making a kind of priest here. Maybe. Maybe later. Alright, we're moving our priests. You, search! The rest of you, to the north. Sure, grab whatever's lying around and march. Actually, I'm gonna have you march this way. Yeah, that makes more sense. So we didn't catch the nasty priest yet, but I've got patrols going, and I'm just going to leave it like that for now. He hasn't been able to cause trouble. You took it! I came here to stop you, and you marched that way, you jerks! Well. You go that way. Stupid army. All right. Well, I have another army ready to go. I 
the slightest notice, I can just kind of assemble this. Okay. And then I can just kind of go... Okay, now, I'm going to put them here. Where, where are they? What's going on? I want you three to move. Why can't you move? Why can't I move you? Why can't I move you? Oh! They're besieging me! Oh! How many men are besieging me? How many people are besieging me? I can't, can't tell. How is... Okay, here it is. 80. Slingers and archers, and I don't know what an Edomite is. Alright, they have giants. I was planning on building this place up larger. Alright, let's go down here for a second. Larva Lake. Did somebody get a lightning rod? You're using the lightning rod. Huh. Huh. Okay. I kind of want to send down... Uh-oh. I need to conquer that as well. I need to go conquering. I need to go conquering this way. <sighs> hmm. I'm going to push this underground as well. Uh, I don't think you can move right now, sadly. Huh. What am I going to do about this? This is a little bit of a problem. Hmm. That's my... If that falls, it's all of my, um... Oh no! They're not allowed to make undead while they're in the fort! Okay... But I think it cancelled my recruitment as well. They've only got 80 units, though. I have more than 600, but some of them are giants. Hmm... I, I guess I just attack. I guess I just go for it. Um... I guess... You're my best bet as one of my generals? Summon Hawk? Summon Storm Power? I think Skeletal Body, Cheated Fate, uh, Raise Some Skeletons, 
can't really argue with just having more. More, more, more. Alright, what's the command that lets me, uh... I need the one that lets me copy somebody's moves from one guy to another. Because I have a lot of similar units. Hmm. Rigor Mortis? Hmm. An adventure version. Ever thought of checking it? Let's see. Alright. Um. Control plus a number. Okay, that's what it is. These priests aren't going to lead much. All right, there we go. <sighs> okay. So let's begin with the priests. Oh, that. Okay, control one. Okay. One. Control, control one. Let's try this again. Contr control one. Well, that's not it. <sighs> shift one. Control shift one. Alright, let's ask Google. Dominions 6, how to copy orders. You can only copy paste in the army assignment screen. You're on the squad positioning screen. Uh, that's tight. No, that's not the answer. In the army screen? Okay. So, control one. Nope. Nope, that's not it. It doesn't do anything here. Ah. <sighs> interface the true difficulty of this game to overcome i have never played any of the might and magic series that is correct oh shit there it went finally oh my gosh that is a that is a pain now i know it it's like okay but how are you supposed to figure that out? <sighs> you... I guess you don't have any other types of magic. Anyway, the priests are just gonna bless the shit out of things. You're different. Oh, you are very different, though. You are special. The entire battlefield. Let's take magic resistance. I don't know if we even need the other priests when you can do this, but... Okay. But what are the other priests going to do? Go into melee? I hope not. So we'll just let them all think they're helping.
and hope that I have through sheer volume the ability to evict them from my territory. Because I need to go back to making undead, and I have uh, like a thousand units here. It's a thousand versus eighty. That's gotta be good enough, right? I want everybody... to break the siege. Get them out of here. That means you two... are going to bring whatever you got... as well. There we go. Okay, so I need to take the glistening wood and make this my third fortress. I need this fortress specifically. Because it hooks up with the underground. I do want the Mines of Despair, but I need to deal with this army first. Stupid army here. I don't want to spend this money. Huh? What's going on? Why can't I? I'm not allowed to increase my defense here? Why? Oh, because the population is 30. Because <laughs> nobody lives here. Oh! Okay. Yeah, I suppose that's fair. Yeah, my wastelands have populations of, um, nothing. Which is probably why my income is so crappy. Oh, well. Alright, ready? Final check. Um... What does this guy think he's doing? He's just gonna stand around? So, uh, this is just a little palisade here. I don't know, I'll just push you that way. Yes, you can go there. Sure. I will at some point want uh, to build a lab up here. Okay, you've done your part. Okay, you can build a lab there. That's great. Okay! Oh no! Uh, add Conquest of Elysium to the to-do list. It can take the place of an Akronax. <laughs> Since that one's been booted out. Is it as simulationist in nature as this? Aging. Seriously. You have to worry about aging every unit. I don't care. They're undead. Alright. They did not stand and fight, of course. So we squish them. Took this. Alright, that's good. That's fine. The Tunnels of the Lost! Success! That's not actually a fight I was worried about. Okay. Hysteria was taken by a few giants. Have to look into that. And the swamps. 
Oh, wow, I just lost uh, 200 units without killing a single one of them. That's terrifying. All right, the swamps and hysteria. Okay, this is the big battle. We win. We lost uh, about 10% of our forces, but we have pushed them out. That was the important battle. It looks like we killed their commanders. That's good. All right. Hysteria and Larian swamps. Several things I gotta do. This is hysteria. Oh! They went this way! I hate that I can't catch them. There's gotta be a way that you can force the enemy to actually stand and fight. Instead of just running around like this. This is terrible. Also, the Endless Plain... I had a fort here, and it's gone now. They burned it. I just, I can't catch this. My gosh, even with all these guys working, we've lost this as our, uh, part of our domain again. <sighs> This is so annoying. I just wanted to get rid of this army so I could fight. Instead, I'm running around. I need a second army to catch them, and I just don't have one in the area. I just don't have anything in the area. Seven units. Alright. They'll join with you and form up into a new army. Okay. You over here have done your part. Okay, we've got some giants there. Pull back this way. Oh, no, no, stay down there. Okay. Alright, we've got a few armies to march together. I think how it's going to go is we're going to take the Pale Ones here, and we'll take the Cavern Realms together, and then we'll try to take Underspring. That would make the most sense. You can search! Okay, all right, perfect. All right. See, the problem is I just don't know how good I am at fighting these particular enemies. If I split my army, I don't know what it would look like. I really don't know that I could split this army and still win a fight with them. 
because I just don't know how tough they are. Let's see if I can pin him against something. If he would just head... Well, we'll see what happens. Let's not make, try to make predictions here. Alright. Every single priest... All of you reanimate this. Yep. Oops, one of them had an option to do something different. No, damn it! Arg! <sighs> Clicked one too many times. Okay, you can make lictors. Okay. There we go. All right. You know what? You can go this way. You know what? Yeah. You'll help. Okay. What have I left out? I'm going to go ahead and boost this to an even higher level. Over here... Crystal Sorceress. I mean, they'd be able to research. They'd have some magic. But I think I'd better just stick with the priestesses. Yeah. Stick to the creation of undead. Can we go down there? I might start making... more of these guys soon. Finally, I don't have the money to do it, but that's okay. We'll get to it next time. Alright then, fine. I can't really do anything with you without a lab, so you're just gonna sit tight. Fine. I could summon more more mages and priests. I'm thinking about it. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with those death gems yet, because there's other spells and empowerments and things. I was going to resolve something, and then... <sighs> I just want this enemy army inside my lands to die, doggone it. If I could get rid of that... I can't leave it, because it will conquer everything I have. But I can't catch it. I needed to just step into the wrong place. What? What are you talking about? That's where I literally just stepped out of, and already it's been retaken. Well, that's nice. 
old stinky, huh? I just stepped out of here, and the same turn I moved, they took it. But I notice their army was much larger, and it's getting smaller and smaller. That is good. You are gonna move. All right. Populations have been getting very, very low in a lot of places. <laughs> We need to conquer more territory before our populations get too low to support anything. Alright. Alright, go ahead and join in on that. 70 left, huh? Alright. Old Stinky takes care of it. The rest of you... Considering what to do right now... We never searched this location for magic sites, so sure. You don't all need to search for magic sites. Okay. Okay. Well... Um. Damn it, why did you stop? <sighs> why? This order is correct. Do not change it again. Alright, you search for magic sites. You're just gonna move. Okay. Alright. Successfully taken this location with pale ones. Hmm. Hmm. Do not eat. Do not eat. I don't eat! Huh, oh, okay. Sure, whatever. Alright, you guys go this way. You guys go this way. And I hope that enemy doesn't turn out to be too much for us. Alright, next. I want to take this. Looking at it for a while, and I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna go for it. Truly massive amounts of undead. Marching along. Now, 
Orgal here has a different mission. He is to assist in that. And finally we come to here. Where we're reanimating ludicrous amounts of undead. Alright. All the priests need to dump their troops back into the pool. Suppose it would be wise for me to give them each five bodyguards, but I'm not going to bother. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find people who are not priests. Alright, that's not as many as I had hoped. We need to get more guys up here. Oh well. What we're going to do now is we'll put them together. I'm going to give you one priest, and you're going to march this way. We're going to attack Glistening Wood very soon. Very, very soon. And they're going to make that another fort location. Pretty iffy about this tactic. But depending on where they move, I might be able to catch them. Oh my gosh, we're losing! We are losing! <laughs> army up here. We gotta get rid of this and we gotta come up north. We have to. Someone cast a global enchantment. Oh! Is that what that is? Oh! Global enchantments. Yeah, I don't really know how those work. I know they exist, but I don't know how they actually work yet. Uh, because I haven't gotten that far in the game. Uh, it will they, it will be in the vote, and I'm 99% certain that Gothic 2 will probably beat out anything I put anything else I put in the vote. All right, let me see. All right, we lost a sixth of our army to these. Now I get to look at them. I doubt I'll be able to remember them in the future, but. So many creatures. Alright, looks like. Oh, wow. White Peaks just had a terrible thing happen, huh? Alright. They've retreated to the Endless Plain. Okay. It's not you. It's not you. Who's the undisciplined ones? I found them. Okay. Box formation. Much better. Alright. I have more spells than I used to have. I 
guess it's not that much better. Huh. Hmm. Alright, fine, never mind. Keep doing what you're doing. Alright, there we go. I'm sure you can handle a hundred. You outnumber them six to one, and you have old Stinky leading the band. So, how could we lose? Right? Why don't you fire your breath weapon at a distance instead? Yeah, that's probably smarter. Okay, meanwhile, over here. Construct a lab. We've been needing one. Come on. I'm making two priests a turn. Get out of here. We've regained control of this territory. Barely. <sighs> Join the army. Oh, look at all of these guys. Okay, fine, like that. Uh... Okay, this guy can join in up there. I'm so annoyed they burned my fort. Hello there, Suleiman. You look like you're actually a pretty good one. Alright, these three are hiking on over. To here. This lot is hiking over there. The siege we're about to do is going to be pretty epic. Meanwhile, over here, everyone just continues reanimating undead. This is just... It's just what we do. We just make more and more, and I have to find a way to buff these long undead warriors further with magic. All right, what are you going to do? We have a lot of different things we can cast. Did I ever make a revenant? What is a revenant? Lictorian guard. Dark knowledge. Huh. Astral projection. Spying. Okay. Oh, flesh golems. I see. Frankensteining. Huh. Hmm. Archbishops and duck, Dusk Elders are the best. Uh, the Railing Lady is interesting. Victorian is counted. Wouldn't the Railing Lady be really good against giants? Because she does max damage. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. 
I might still have the save file. I doubt it'll let me port anything over, though. If we're talking about Gothic. Interesting. Let's try creating a revenant and see what that is. And then we'll decide what to do from there. Okay, everything's moving together there. This is going to be one hell of an army on that side of the field. Okay, meanwhile... Guys are doing your part. The castle will be finished constructing in a second. I wish I had more money. I'd build more temples. See, there's two tiles he could go into from here. There has to be a way you can prevent the enemy from just moving around. There has to be something. Well, whatever. Let's just kind of go with it, what we've done. Well, you'd have to have death magic to make the revenant, though, wouldn't you? So you're just saying it's another spellcaster like the Dusk Elder? Hmm. Oh, hey! Cool! Oh, yeah, I have magic items. I need to make more of those and stuff. All right, there was a battle on the Endless Plain. Did they stand their ground at last? I lost 287 units. The crossbowmen were wiped out. It's really cool when a game lets you import a save. Um, unless I unless I deleted a game, I'll still have its save files. I don't just delete random save files. Mirror images. Oathbound. Protection 16. Illusions and tricks of the mind. Okay. Disease, starving... Oh, they've been starving to death because they're in my frozen hell. They've been slowly starving to death in my lands. Because there's no... Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. Oh, hey, bears. Bear. Size six. Uh-huh. They regenerate? Skin shifters. The veneer are really cool. So, they're Norse based, but they've got some cool stuff going for them. Turning into bears, having mirror images. Hit me with fire. Fire's not very effective in the cold frost, you know. should be getting them with your fear effects and your diseased breath weapon. You're sitting back. Why? You should be set to plague breathing by now. There it goes. I'm curious to see what kind of effect the plague breath will have on them. They just start running. They do not like plague breath. 
it freaks them out. I should take away his spell casting and just let him go to play Kreth earlier in the fights. I think so. I think I I've given him the completely the wrong orders. All right, we now have a castle. Another tile has frozen. Ah, oh, their army is gone. It was expensive, but it's finally been done. All right. Uh yes. All right, let's see. There. You don't need to make skeletons. Hold and attack. Attack. Closest enemy. So these guys will run forward, you'll cast one spell, then you'll start doing the breath, and then those will come along behind. Right? I need guards. Crossbows? No, I'll go with these. Okay. There. I think that'll work better. Okay, okay, alright. We're gonna head north now and we're gonna start conquering things, finally. Alright. Alright, everybody. Everybody, we're heading north to meet up with Old Stink. You guys will be joining in with this soon. Oh, wow, you brought up to three. Good work, man. Excellent work. Excellent. All right, let's have a look over here. We should have gotten a... Oh, this thing. Oh, right. Ah, uh, that thing. That's what a revenant was. Mm, yeah, all right, fine. Oh, hey, I can forge more stuff now that we've got the next level. A burning pearl. Fire in a jar. All kinds of interesting things. XP every turn. That's nice. Assassination or seduction. Oh yeah, there's a whole set of rules about seduction. I don't think we have to worry as much about that. Champion Skull is interesting. Let's make one of those. Yeah. Oh, what am I going to do with you? Should I just empower you a little bit? To make you useful? No. Not much this guy could do. Rod of the Leper King. Huh. Magic damage with decay. Interesting. Um, I'm just going to ask you to research. Oh. It's as good a thing as any for you to do. Okay. 
Oh, so good that that's done. Alright, guys. Lava Lake. Okay, this army is underground conquering this from one of our foes. Okay. And at the same time, we're taking the above ground from the same foe. Oh, stop that. And we're going to take a... Oh, no, don't you dare. Take a moment to sort the army out. Oh, bodyguard it. Alright, let me see. Hmm. Honestly, the undead don't seem to have a whole lot of order and strategy. They seem to mostly be about being a giant mob of doom. Alright, we've got one priest with us, just a regular priest. We do, however, have three wizards. What will the wizards do for us? I think they should cast Skeletal Body. Because I just think that's a good thing to do. What is this? Power of the Spheres? Right, right, right. That one. Gift of Cheated Fate. And then just... Make some skeletons? You can't go wrong with skeletons. Alright, control... 2. Ah, that's what you guys do. There you go. You know, actually, now that I think about it, these axe guys are pretty good. Perhaps I shouldn't tell them to stay behind the troops. Perhaps the correct move is to tell them to attack. Yes. I think so. I think since these are my strongest fighters, I should let them move forward and do their part. And these mages of mine will be the main commanders. Although we have other little small commanders all over the place. Anyway, there's 1,400 men here. They have 20 men there. I don't care if they're giants. I don't care what they are. They are not going to survive this fight. There's no way. There's just no way. 1,400. You don't, you, don't, you, you don't beat that with 20 guys. Oh, look. Here's another one of these guys. There we go. There we go. The undisciplined are moved out. That makes this a nice box formation better. This way. I guess you're going this way. No, this way. All right, we're going to be maintaining three armies now. Three locations. All right.
all of them absurdly large super armies. Okay, next up, I need everything here. Changing from preaching to making undead. Alright, you! Search for magic sites. You! We built a laboratory so you could do things here. Cave grubs? Oh, hey! Earth magic on this guy. Okay. You know what a revenant is now? Blind scorpion beast. might be interesting. I'm gonna go with an Archbishop. Yeah, I think so. For the moment, we'll go with that. I have some money. I do. Hmm. I guess we'll just leave that money alone for the moment. Yeah, the giants seem to be pretty strong, but I wonder what their downsides are. They probably eat a ton. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of rules for seduction. There's a ton of different ways to do it. And uh, turn enemies against, you know, to basically get enemies to join your side. Hmm. Source of food. Hmm. The boar, you can play fey boars or immortal. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see. Like uh, the goats in uh, Norse mythology, huh? Hmm. The Jotun Frost Giants, huh? Oh, wow, awesome. Alright, we attacked the Glistening Woods. Alright, we took it. Now we'll have to take the Fortress. We took the Underspring. And we burned their temple. Okay, very good. Uh... Okay, he sent a large army in. Alright, I'll have to deal with that. Oh, hey, a Skull Mentor. Cool. I see. I understand. Well, I took two things from him, so I guess it's only fair. Shira of love and war who radiates power. 130 barbarians. Okay. Alright, let's start with what we're doing on this side of the map. We begin with our primary army, which we finally reformed. All right, we're going to claim this band up here and move this forward. Okay. All right. 
right. All right, this group can join in. Giant archers, huh? Uh, all right, let's do the little bit of bookkeeping here. Specifically, we have a new archpriest. I don't want to burn up too many of my gems right now. <sighs> but let's make a couple more archbishops on this tile. Okay, if I'm going to deal with that, I'm going to have to push out something. On the other hand... Here's the thing to boost your research. So the Revenant is now going to research better. Cool. All right, speaking of which, what are we doing right now? Is Conjuration 4 any good? Uh, I guess it's as good as anything, sure. Right now, we're sieging. We can storm the castle already. That's good. There's a stupid army over here. All right. Um, storm the castle. I want it. Except for you. No, go ahead. Just storm the castle, everyone. Okay. Cool. All right, all of you head up. I might need to uh, send a couple priests down here and toss in a couple temples later. So that should burn that up. That should be quite the army. I don't know how dangerous that is. I have 1,400 men here. I outnumber them 10 to 1. I could decide. Could just decide to push everything in to push this out. It'd mean a couple turns where we're not reanimating dead. However,
should I? Should I just push all my priests over there? I definitely don't want them holding this, and I definitely don't want them moving any deeper into my territory. Mm. I don't know how dangerous this hero army is. As long as they don't have a way to assassinate all my priests. These guys weren't really supposed to see combat. But can I even command this army? <laughs> There's a lot of units. gonna sit still or are they gonna immediately push deeper into me and I'm gonna end up running around chasing them through my territory as they burn all my temples again <sighs> all right there Go. <laughs> Just go. We're gonna take this. Next, we have this army. This army has been animating undead this entire time. We could wait a tiny bit longer. How many undead we got here? We only have 224 plus. It's down here. Yeah, we've only got a couple hundred undead here. We're not ready. We're not ready for any such aggressive action yet. Not yet. But we'll get something sorted out soon. Dead hordes, that's right. Boars. Uh I mean I've seen a lot of things in the game, I don't know. The attack density. Yeah. Because you can only fit one per tile, right? If they're bigger than six. But you could probably could put a couple small guys in with a giant. I have no idea. I don't know if I'm even going to put a t put up a vote. As I said, Gothic 2 is um it's almost guaranteed to win against anything. Um I'm certain of that. <laughs> There's a lot of Germans in my audience and they love their Piranha Bytes games. All right, let's see what happens. All right. They attacked somewhere. Okay, so they did move. So I have retaken this. Oh my gosh, we lost a lot of men. 
All right, they left some of their troops behind and we slaughtered those, so they will be reduced. There's a bunch of guys taking out that. That's not too bad. And as for the glistening forest, wow, that hurts. They only had like a hundred guys and they managed to bring down 400 of ours. Well, that's just what it is playing undead, I guess. I need to look into what's going on in Iron Peaks. domain all the way down here. Let's see. Troll, please. Eh, maybe that'll do something. There are 90 units here. Alright, what did you find? An enchanted pyre, a brook of pearls. This underworld down here is amazing for magic. A lot of different enemies around here. Right. Really want this army to go back to the fort where they belong. Alright, meanwhile we have this army now. So this place is going to need a temple. It's already got a laboratory and a fortification. Huh, I can't increase the fortification any. Is that so? Okay. How can I prevent them from moving? There has to be a way. If they can just jump into any of, like, all these different directions, how do you ever stop them? Take this, they can get underground. I don't like that. This is really annoying. There has to be a way to catch where the enemy is going to go. If only I knew where the enemy was going to move, I could move there ahead of them. But I don't. What do I do? How do I prevent them from ruining my stuff? Simultaneous turns suck. I'll just leave this army here. 
for the moment. All right, meanwhile, over here, we are sieging this four fort, are we? And I guess that's going to take us a little bit of time. All right, meanwhile, over here, we've animated more. A lot of priests. We have some mages. Okay, and we have a very powerful priest or two which is important all right is this enough to conquer this 40 troops versus 300! I know, we're gonna try it. Attempt to take it. And I think this guy is going to bring a delivery of further troops. Oh, I've been recruiting crossbowmen here all this time. Yeah, I'm going to stop that now. Crossbowmen are nice and all, but... Alright, you're sieging. Let's see if we can turn things a little bit here. Okay. Alright, have we done everything? Is that a full turn? Not too worried about those. Ah, you, however. You do what you do. Hmm. Alright. Well, while we wait, wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute, hold up, that's a lot of guys, hold up, do this, yes, do that, that should have an impact. You don't have the ability to preach. That's odd. Make a lictor. You can't do much in this site because, you know... Yeah. No magic lab to work in. That! Should do some good. All right. Uh, 
Quest, quest for Glory? Oh, you're talking about Quest for Glory! I've mentioned this before, that was a game I played at a friend's house when I was a kid, and it bugged me for years because I could remember images and bits and pieces, but I didn't know the name of the game. And so, try as I might, for probably a decade of my life, I couldn't figure out what game that was. Obviously, I eventually did figure it out, uh, probably just watching some random YouTube video or something. Somehow, I figured out the name, but I still haven't gotten around to playing it. I don't want them going through my lands because my temples will get burned if they just walk around my territory. They'll burn all my temples. I'm trying really hard to keep them out. Okay, so siege their forts, huh? Alright, I'll try that. Alright, we took something. They took something. Oh, wait, no, actually, we won this one. Amazing, for once. Ickids. Oh, okay. Effigy of War. Hmm. Population minus 3,000. Well, that just destroyed that population. Okay, that's, that's correct. That's how that should be. Oh, good. Maybe that's going to stop killing my undead now. Nope. Still losing troops to something in the same territory. Alright, well, that's how that goes. Alright. Alright, we got a temple here. Good. Do your thing. I can recruit priests here. Alright, oh, that's pretty good. Looks like they backed off. Alright, the objective is to push. I kind of want to put all of you back... Re didn't I tell you all to make undead? Where's the undead? You didn't make any. Why didn't you make any undead? Oh, right, okay, no, never mind. I do remember now. I didn't tell you to make up dead. I told you to preach. That's right, and you still didn't take it from their influence. Oh, well. Alright. Well. I need to clear this out, and I need to take this. So let's go for... <sighs> Hold on. We're gonna bring... We're going to bring it together. Uh-huh. All right. So we have two armies here. And one of them is struggling a little bit. Yeah, that patrol is working. Okay. I dump all of this over here. Man, playing the undead is tedious. Okay. Then this army will join up there. Alright, all of you pull over to this direction. Alright, you guys have successfully done your part. Great. Storm the castle. They have six? Ooh, that's very high to make the strength you've got there. Alright. 
Nothing particularly important about this site. However, we're going to move this way now. You are going to be bringing in some resupply. And you two. I actually might leave a couple of guys just, uh, preaching. Actually, be a bad idea. But for now, make some undead. Yeah, for now, make undead. Okay, you two. Uh, you can make some nice reinforcements for that army. All right, I think that's everything. I should take I'm gonna ask you to auto search for magic sites yeah just one guy he's gonna just be let loose to do as he pleases I'd like to take my gems and try to upgrade someone soon I can get access to other types of magic and then I can send them. I can try to do the search thing again. I'd also like to build more temples and forts and other stuff. Alright. Alright. More forces. All right. Wait, what? Oh, no. Shit. The rest of my guys didn't storm. I just threw away somebody. Who did I do it with? <sighs> Doggone it. <clears throat> well, all I can do is wait to see the results. Two archbishops came in. Looks like they didn't win. Yes, they did. Didn't they? What happened here? Who won? Who won? What happened? Oh, I understand. Okay, I get it. Yes, okay, I know what happened there. Got it, got it, understood. What? They attacked again? I just stepped out of there. <sighs> they attacked with nothing, too. Okay. They attacked me with a river. And a giant mantis. 
They killed 611 of my men. Holy crap. They devastated my army. This was a serious fight into my main army. Dead. The wolves coming around at the back. Yeah, the armies are so large, it's kind of hard to keep track of what's going on, huh? They're throwing anti undead spells at me. How far does my fear effect reach? Does it reach them from all the way back here? They're not breaking. Oh! Did you get tired of breath weapons? Careful, you're pretty fatigued. The higher your fatigue, the more often you get crit. Alright. So yeah, our army was absolutely devastated in this. <sighs> Looks like a lot of their commanders got away too. So yeah, the ghouls, two-thirds of the ghouls wiped, the long deads almost destroyed completely. The soulless, two-thirds gone. Ugh, man. That was a serious assault. Alright, we burnt a temple. Magic site! Oh, cool. The patrol found a magic site. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we'll continue patrolling. All right. You retook that with just a little horse, huh? Alright, what happened here? We didn't storm it. And my army is looking awfully thin. My main army has been reduced to a shadow of what it was. Alright, well, let's consolidate what we have left. Mm. Oh yeah, you can keep bodyguards. Those are important. Graphula. Ah, a reference to uh, Discworld, is it? Nothing. Scrofula was actually a historical disease that killed tons of people. I forget what Scrofula is. It's something we recognize today by a different name. But Rincewind didn't appreciate when Scrofula came for him. <laughs> This is it. This is all the undead we've been able to gather left, huh? That's not great. That's not great. I'll put them all on Storm Castle, but, uh... Let's 
just reinforce with whatever we've got lying around. bunch of random priests. Sure, why not? We'll use it. Alright, you guys are sieging. It's a bit strange to be sieged by a whole bunch of priests, but okay. We can make a couple lictors. Here's just hit his limit. Plague pit. Right. March of the Dead. I'm gonna give you all these worthless things. And since I have more, I'll put them there. Okay, you three. me with this six enemy units over here. I guess you can handle that. Okay. Uh, yeah, take them as well. There. That's a little bit better. Now that those have been filtered out. You should be more effective. You two can go that way. Good luck. No, no, not you. Okay. There's a lot of priests here. As for these two, I don't know what to do with them right now. All these ones the priests are leading again, but whatever. Alright, hopefully you guys don't get overrun. That would be very sad. That would be very, very sad. Alright. This army. What to do with this army? Oh, that's a good question. It's got 1,200 people in it. Musfelheim, huh? Can I just attack Musfelheim? Hmm. There's 160. There's Ananu Naki. 
of love and war again. The giant castle. Well... Or we could burn their temples. Let's give it a go. Heat three. Man. Not really our element. Right next to our frost lands. Right, you guys keep working. As for you. You could do any number of things. Perhaps you're the guy I'm finally going to empower. Alright. Fine. Let's start by giving you nature magic. And we'll just see how it goes as I empower him in more and more ways. Oops. Oh shit. Wrong button. Oh well. Right. Rogue to Redemption? I have not played Rogue to Redemption. Hmm. Okay. We attacked Musful, and we slaughtered everything there, so they're holed up in the fortress. Oh, I lost a Lictor. Eh. These guys aren't very durable. They hit hard, but they're not very durable. I kind of preferred the uh, horsemen. Mark again. Uh oh. Oh no. Well, oh my gosh, yeah, we lost some stuff here. Oh wow. We failed to capture the fortress. The whole army is toast. Okay, my main army has been completely defeated. And somehow we ended up over here. You guys are still sieging this place. Oh my gosh. Alright, keep it up. There's only 280 guys there. But I got reinforcements coming. Alright, you guys have been completely defeated for now. I'm going to have to reorganize my men. Because, yeah, the army is gone. Everything is gone. <laughs> well, I guess there is some good news. have more forces. I have more forces on the way. Hmm. Alright. You 
but are sieging this fort. That is good. Hmm. So what's going to happen is this army is going to go over here and it's going to pick up a massive army from here. I can give them a bigger army than they've ever had before at 1800. It'll be the biggest army we've ever made. And then we'll go right back to it. Another round. Also equip some equipment. Okay, authority. Thunder Whip. Let's see. Chi shoes. Powerful kicks. Uh huh. Is that so? Fire plate. Lightweight scale mail. Hmm. Interesting. make a dragon helmet. Ah, oh, why not? Alright. Alright, you are my new nature mage. Congratulations. You now have nature powers. At the moment, I could either increase your fire, your nature, your astral magic or I could actually I could increase your death let's empower his death all right you guys are doing your jobs what are you doing Maybe. Eh, sure. Make one of those. It's not that expensive. Alright, we're crafting a few items. Next turn, we'll regroup here. Like, they're, they're all regrouping to here, then we'll go there to get our armies, and then we'll head back to re-siege that fortress. And hope I don't lose any more sieges, because that was... Unpleasant. Alright. These guys are probably going to end up moving north soon. Since you're not doing anything, you might as well search for magic sites. as well too you have one fire magic more I don't know how you'll contribute but you might as well hmm all right
<laughs> you want to lose some battles, but your armies are larger than ever. Well, it's because I keep making more and more priests, and I'm keeping my priests mostly off the battlefields. Like, I'm doing my best to keep them back. I, when I have to, I've been pulling them forward for the most part, yeah. And more priests equal more undead. Yeah, okay, well. We're just not finding stuff. They took it again? Every other turn, that place changes hands again. Okay. All right. All right, everybody. Storm the castle. Hopefully, this is their capital and this cripples them. Hopefully. All right, you there. Continue with the empowerment of this guy. I'm going to give him more nature power now. You are going to forge. You know what? Might not make an enchanted shield. Seems good. Alright, looks like this is going to flip to uh, our domain soon. Alright, the armies have regrouped. go there, we get our stuff. Right, we're gonna head this way. Still haven't broken through. Multiple turns. This place is apparently uh, difficult to breach. guys here. Hopefully it's okay. So one war is going well, one war is not going as well. Oh, um, give me all that. I haven't do done what I set out to accomplish today. Uh. All right. at full. Okay. Go ahead, go that way. Okay, you two. Alright, yeah, everything is moving as it should. That's doing what that's doing. Okay, you've taken this. You've got 80 troops there, but I'm about to take your castle. Mm, I wanted to get to this chair today. I'm falling behind in control of chairs. These jerks over here are the leaders in chair collecting, are they?
Okay. I would like you to build a fortress here. Yes, thank you. Okay. How have you not finished the siege? It's alright. We'll get you reinforcements soon. Easily kicked that over. They have retaken the glistening woods. I fail to capture the fortress! My army of a thousand was reduced to nothing. They had priests. They had one priest do, got 258 kills on me. The slingers, shockingly, 36 slingers got 246 kills? Holy shit. Um... So, uh, one of their priests looks like he had a destroy undead spell that just destroyed me. So they're up on the walls. Their slingers are getting a ton of kills. They're holding me back with, uh, Mustful Gladiators. These guys are pretty tough. Oh, they're giants. Okay, they had giants in the do in the wall. And this guy here, he is destroying us with magic, anti-undead magic over and over again. While we can't get in. This one jerk here. Oh. Yeah, I would have immediately, like, if I was in control of this battle, I'd have been like, never mind, run away. Because these things are not going down. Just, a, just three giants were able to hold this whole gap. And all the rest of the undead are just standing there being shot. They have infinite ammo because they're defending a wall. Normally you have limited ammo, but if you're defending a wall, you have infinite ammo. So yeah, um, that just destroyed... My... My western army is gone now. Um, shit. Where's my art? Where's my survivors? I don't think I got a single one of my generals back. Yeah, that entire army just ceased to exist. 
I may have just lost this game. That battle may have just been it. So they've taken the glistening wood fort here, so I'm no longer able to, uh... I have only 14 guys here. I've got no way to hold this. So it comes down to... I have one army left, but you can't win with one army, and I can't divide it. We're losing everywhere. We can't divide this army apart. So... Hmm. Hmm. All right, I've got three thousand undead here. Well, what we can do is we can reorganize things. can't fight in every direction, and, and not, not having an army on the west means that they, I can just lose everything. Ugh. Ugh. Sheesh. Losing both the eastern and western armies. Like, good grief. We failed to take two forts now. I need to figure out how to take forts. Clearly, clearly the undead... Although they can swarm the fields, they're absolutely incapable of swarming fortresses. What are we going to do about that? A single priest. or do I go east? I think I go to fight the giants. I think I need to finish the giants off. Everything else I can fight. But the giants consistently give me the worst trouble. So. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Alright, I have five lictors as your bodyguards. They hit hard at least. Alright. Let's see. The long dead only have 5 hit points, 8 armor, and a single 16 point attack. If only we had ranged combat. Okay, yeah, that's what I wanted to remove. Okay, these guys have zero protection, but at least they have a ranged attack. Regular long dead. That's fine. These are the javelin boys again. Javelins again different kinds of javelin guys. Could be 
guys are just swordsmen. Alright, that's your limit. Alright, that's your limit. Alright, next. I wish I had a tighter formation than this. Alright. Poisoned claws. These are my ghouls. What about our long spearmen? They seem to be a little bit better than some of my other guys. Alright, we got some guards. These are basically the worst long dead you can have. Alright, I have a very small collection of skeletal guys. Okay, that's what you'll do. bunch of just this and this that should be fine This is a very large army. Ooh, javelin ears. Okay, looks like the army's starting to run low. Okay, there we go. All right. Now.
what? All right. That's the army. Okay. Next. We have helmets. This would give you 15 head protection. This would give you 22. Dark vision and fire resistance. Shift click. What can I give it to you? Head. Crowns and laurels only. Oh, okay, well. All right, miscellaneous. Let's give you XP every turn. That's something. Berserk pelt. Because of armor. Effigy. An army to the effigy will appear to be larger than it really is. How does that help me? Fine, whatever. Here you go. That's what you got. Okay, that's what he's got. Uh, that takes care of stink. Now let's go up here. Now, on the battlefield, these guys don't have armies. They're actually warriors. Sacred warriors at that, so I'm just going to treat them as such. You now have a shield. Look at that. Now you actually have a shield and a helmet. Look at that. And armor. Oh my gosh, this guy actually has a little survivability to him now. And that's what I'm going to give him. Okay, this guy... This guy's up next. And he can also have a shield. Power of spheres. Ah, uh, sure, whatever. Anyway, you go. Magic resistance. Well, that's probably nice. And a hat. Okay. So, your protection is now 16, and you have a shield that offers 30 protection when you parry. Whereas this guy's got 20 protection, some fire resistance, and... Hello, Plague Hope. Oh shit, this is my profit. Well, all I have left for you is, um, this... Berserk would make you fatigue. It only triggers if he gets injured, though. Uh, magic furs are at 9. Take, take it off. How do I remove it? Oops. Yeah, I think you're better off with that. I don't know where it just went. Somebody's got it on now. But all right, we have the army. Where are we sending them? It's got to be muscle, right? I don't know if I can move between these two, so I'll have to go through Mark. So that army's going that way. We're going to go to Musfelheim again. Making a lot of long dead warriors. 
If I told them all to make ghouls, the population would vanish in an instant. Okay. Now this is a serious issue over here. I don't know how long we have before the fort falls, but... Um... They should be able to sneak, right? Sneak and attack? No! Sneak and get out of there! We can't sneak. I've been investing in this guy and suddenly, yeah, the loss of that army up there. This is suddenly a big problem. Can't really recruit anything. Um, all right. Well, I have some things that I can ship over. So, at least we've got some troops on the way. And at least we got rid of the army on this side. So, you guys over here, you're ready to storm the castle? No, we're not doing that anymore. Storming castles hasn't been going very well for us. In fact, we're gonna actually retreat back to Druidland. This population is really good. What if... You can make an attempt at it. Hmm. That's so annoying. Alright, I think that's everything for the moment. Still trying to find the uh, guys over here that are ca causing me mischief, but let's see what happens. Can we rescue them in time? We need a giant army of golems. Maybe they can't get bogged down in bleach. Uh, I claimed, I don't know, half the thrones and won the game last time. I'm not sure what the number was. More than I claimed in this game. Alright, uh, we took Mark, we know that. We lost Copas. Okay. We claimed this. No, we weren't. Didn't. Okay. An unusually harsh winter. Well.
Okay. Let's see. Listening Woods hasn't fallen yet. He took Corpos. Right as my troops were about to head through that. Well, I want to go up towards Muspel, but... Alright. This army is just gonna kind of pull out. Yep, this army uh, needs to reinforce itself quite a bit. Also, somehow they have again pushed their influence over this land. Their influence is way stronger than mine. Anyway, regardless of what happens in the next few moves, uh, we'll determine before I go to bed if this game is salvageable. But regardless, I've learned a lot this time. So, since most of my armies are gone, my moves are relatively quick and easy now. Three thousand units marched. Okay. Yep. All right, you guys are now within this territory. Alright, at this point, you guys would just do this. Oops. Oh, you know what? Horsemen are good. I like horsemen. No, damn it! Ah! One click too many, and it turns them all off from reanimate. That is so annoying. There has to be a shortcut command for this. reinforce the defeated army that failed to even get break through the walls at the very end and we just walked out because we're like nah this isn't working out for you okay 50 enemy giants are deep inside my territory burning down my temples again <sighs> well what can you do all right first things first this we're not breaching this. This guy over here, we were empowering him. He's feeling a bit empowered now, isn't he? Well, we could go further. Why not? Well, this guy will summon... I kind of want to make a whale. Well, let's make an archbishop. Yeah, that would be a good idea. And then we're going to go straight up to Musful. I 
don't need to worry too much about other things right now. I should be going to bed for the night. But we can do a few more moves. <sighs> mind flayers. I wonder what faction has mind flayers. Okay. Ten enemy units left. <laughs> okay, guys. Everyone is moving out. And we're going to do a couple of quick things. First, we're going to set you Okay. That seems good. We're going to bring the priests with us, sure. A few priests to buff us a little. Air shield. That sounds good. Hmm. Levitate. Protection from lightning might not be good. Personal flight. Hmm. Far flight. Astral shield. Hmm. Blink. Let's go with second sight. An astral shield. Those sound like good spells for you. I'll let you be free to do what you want. Remove the ray skeletons and let you do as you please as well. All right, two steps from Mustful. Let's go. Okay. There we go. Oh, you're supposed to be researching. Meanwhile, over here, much the same. Now 
afford so many more magic items. This place should resume recruitment of two priests a turn. Okay, into Mustful one more time. Figure one more turn to get there and probably a turn to break the walls. With 3,000 troops, the wall should just come down. I need a sieve that can make catapults and trebuchets. I need siege weapons. Or maybe just a sieve that where everything flies. <laughs> that would give walls a trouble. Alright. Oh, cool. They've invaded Dalka again? 30 units are besieging Dalka. Alright, we're going there. Really? Interfere with my hiring process. I already have more than a thousand troops here again. Because we don't stop their production, ever! Well, except that one brief time, but... Aside from that one time when we stepped out to deal with a matter. Other than that, the recruitment never ceases. So, uh, all we do is... Oh, none of that. Oh, all we do is take all of our non-priests and throw all of them out at once to deal with these 30 dips who imagine they can besiege us. Depending on how this fight goes, I'll decide whether or not this game's salvageable. If I take this fort, the next time the strategy might shift to just taking all the thrones. But if I can't take this fort, or if the losses are too horrific, it'll be like, well, this just isn't working. This can resume. We got to, we're at Storm Castle. All right, here it goes. 3,000 guys. All in. With the Draco Lich and everything. Can it work?
We've sort of put together a second army here, but it's... It's not enough. So this is pretty much the one army. <laughs> this is... Let's observe. A lot of battles going on. All right. Let's see it. They attacked us. That's not what was supposed to happen. Did we not breach last time? Okay. Uh, Storm Castle. Everyone's on Storm Castle, right? Okay. That should give you a good amount of stuff. Okay. Storming Castle. Let's see. It defeated us once and completely destroyed one of a major, major army of mine. And these giants have been a thorn in my side for a long time. This should be it, though. This should win, right? Really just comes down to how big are the losses. So they already chipped a tenth of my army off with a counterattack. So. Not promising. lot of battles going on. One of those is my battle. One of those is my battle. Somewhere. Eventually. This fight. Let's see it. This is my undead army. 
This is almost 3,000. Coming at your same absurd thing here. Oh, this time you have three of the priests. That priest that wrecked like half my army. This time they've got three of them. Yeah, the undead can't really do anything about fort claiming. So they just shoot and blast. But the Draco Lich is here to spew plague at you this time. Is that making a difference? Our army has been buffed by lots of priests. Oh, I don't know if jumping over there is a good idea, buddy. You've only got 83 hit points. Those giants hit hard. I've told you to stay back and fire, not leap in and attack. Why are you jumping in to attack, you fool? Oh, they're actually running for their lives. Well, maybe you knew better than I did. Because it seems to have worked out. I guess his fear is just that effective. Oh, sh... Oh, okay. Okay, there's a... You s... Stupid giant archers up here. We're supposed to be fairly piercing resistant, though. Yeah, he's just destroying them now. He's just up there murdering them one after another. The priests are... What are these? Okay, these are my these are these are all my generals in the back running around <laughs> I guess inciting them. I want I want to see the hit points of the dragon. Why can't I seem to click on him? Oh well, he won. So, in the end, I lost uh, almost a fifth of my army, including one of my 42 Mound Kings, half my ghouls. Okay, all right. And all to take just 62 guys out, huh? These things, they took another 200 of my guys. Half my losses were to these things. I don't know, man. Such a small force. If they had a real army, I wouldn't have taken it. Such a small force is that bad for me. I don't know about this army. I think I think we've fallen a bit behind. I don't know. That was an awfully small force. I have concerns. This one's the fat one, right? No. That one's the battle prowess one. You were the valor one. Hmm. Well, I don't need an electric blanket anymore. It's too warm for that now. 
I have a whole bunch of nice blankets. Regular ones. Uh, hmm. So from here, I was supposed to claim this chair a while ago. We'd need to claim these forts and that chair. That was the plan to be there at the end of today. I don't know how big the world actually is, but... I don't know. I'm very iffy on this one, guys. Probably end up marching to try and, uh... Let's see. This would probably be the start of a new Western army here. Only got 152, but they've got a few of these guys. The Eastern army is slowly recovering. It's up to 1,300, but I doubt it could take a fortress from what I've seen. It could take the field, but not the fortresses. We could try to take ocean tiles with undead. Something interesting we could try. The central thing uh, should be enough to reinforce the uh, main army but not enough to conquer anything on its own. Why are you guys not doing your jobs? What misclick did I make that made you all decide to stop producing undead? Grumble, grumble. Anyway, we'll stop here for today. We'll continue on in a couple of days. And we'll see... Maybe I should just make a whole bunch more Dusk guys, a whole bunch more mages, I don't know. Um, oh, I know what happened! 30 enemies have come and messed with me again, have they? Because they can prevent me from producing undead if they just siege me. So, we'll tell them to break siege. That should help. Ah, my general. My general here. He must have gotten defeated and now he's come back. I see, I see. And his army is down here with him instead of being up, you know, where I need them to be. Great! Wow, he can only command 25 undead? This feeble-minded thing seems to have completely broken him. He's no longer useful. Huh. Well, anyway. Problems for future me. Current me is done for the day. <sighs> yeah. So, we can see the thrones. Save. From my own facial hair!
You're not supposed to know about that. I mean, no, of course not. <laughs> Click on the tile underneath it. Oh, okay. Jumping undead. Oh, yes, the Chinese hopping vampires. But you can fight those off with a broom. So how good can those be in battle? All right, anyway, I'm going to go to bed. Ugh, so until next time and every time, this is Hadrix. Sign it off and good night. Uh, I want to I wanna go a little further, <laughs> but I can't. I need to sleep. Ah. Uh.